ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this very impromptu and last minute Dad Rouse stream, having a look at the Dovetail Games Siemens City Desiro, Desiro City Class 700. How bad is it? We're going to find out Mind in a few minutes' time. Between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, this stream will be starting in approximately five minutes' time, five minutes' time, for the Dad Rail stream, looking at the new Dovetail Games Class 700.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. gentlemen if you're ready for the stream to start and you can hear me then let's have a let's go in the chat give us a let's go in the chat and we'll get going Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a very last-minute impromptu live stream with me, Dad Rail. Just before we jump in, as always, guys, all the opinions expressed within this video are solely my own. May not reflect those of any companies I may be employed by. Bloody, 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 blah, and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for joining me uh, quite late on a Saturday evening for a look at the uh, Dovetail Games Class 700, the Siemens Desiro City. I've read the reviews on this. Um, but I'm going to reserve judgment until I've had a go myself. I was fortunate enough to be to have a little go on the uh, beta version of this, but I haven't had a play on the full release version. So we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Uh, good to see so many of you in the chat tonight as well. Guys, we've got all the usual features. We're going to be jumping in and out of the Discord throughout the stream, which I haven't actually set up, so that might not work. Uh, yeah, we're going to be jumping in and out of the Discord throughout the stream. We're also going to be playing Location, Livery and Locomotive. Uh, if you've not played that before, seen this in the stream before, then uh, you'll get the hang of it as we go along. So, I am just trying to set up the Discord so that is working. Do, 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 do. So this is, where, this is what happens when you do things last minute. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good place to be. Live stream pictures post. There we go. So, we're in the uh, live stream pictures post on the Discord server. If you're not on a Discord server, there is a link in the description below. Anything you post in the live stream pictures page, we'll try and get that up for you on the screen. If I've done it right, just like that. We should get some of your pictures on. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump into Train Sim World. Uh, no, I'm not. Sorry, I'm going to jump into Train Sim Classic, and we're going to have a little look at the 700. Uh, do let me know if the game audio, although from what I understand you might not want to hear the game audio, but do let me know if all the audio levels are okay and everything, guys. So let's see if this is going to work. Let's press that button there, and we're in. So we're going to do the um, 746 London Blackfriars down to uh, 7H. You can only go as far as Swanley on this, which is a little bit of a shame. So that is a 50-minute run. Um, then I've got a second stream set up after that where I'm going to do the Master Key Class 460. I did promise some Train Sim content with some uh, decent quality add-ons, so that I'm going to be doing that straight after this. So uh, let's press Start and see what happens. I have tweaked my Train Sim settings a little bit, so I'm hoping this is going to sound, uh, going to look a little bit better than it did last time. Uh, Andy, hello. Zblocks, hello. Rafe the Train Spotter, Elizabeth Harrison, good evening. William Newton, good evening. Uh, Gary, let's go. Ray Gun, Ben Dykes, lots of you in tonight. I will try and answer as many of your questions as I can as we go through the stream. Uh, let's get this thing moving. Uh, I'm probably going to sort of not go over it in too much detail because I know a lot of people have already done that sort of thing. So I'm just going to kind of drive it in and see how we get on. I will have a little look around though saying that. So I think the external model uh, looks quite good. 
I believe it doesn't look too bad at all. So let's jump in the cab. I quite like the cab layout as well. I've never actually driven these, but I have cabbed a few when I've been doing route learning trips. So you kind of sit in the, the second man side there and don't get a very good view out the windscreen. Anyway, let's key on. Okay, the first thing I've noticed there, and it is sound related, and again with the DRA. Um, normally when you power these up, you'll get the, because they're fitted with TPWS Mark IV, so you'd get the voice co over come on and say TPWS and AWS operational, which didn't happen. Um, obviously that does happen on some of the other, the Class 387's got that, and that is actually functional on Train Sim World. So they have got the sound recordings, so I'm not sure why they didn't put them in. And also when you set the DRA, uh, or when you reset the DRA, you get the same voice going, driver, you have reset the DRA, please check the signal. Um, so obviously sound-wise there, that's not, not as I would expect it to be. Anyway, let's get the doors open. Uh, I've got to remember the buttons for this for the heads up. There we go. And get some lights on as well. Um... and see what happens. The lighting effect is way too bright on the top there. And yeah, they're not great for route learning at all. Um, you can't see, you definitely can't see very much. Davidoff, welcome to the stream. Very well, thank you. You will now call at all stations towards Seven Oaks, first stop Elephant and Castle. So I do sign quite a lot of this route. I don't sign the bit out of Blackfriars, but if I assume we're going to either go down to um, Hearn Hill or we're going to go Loughborough Junction and round the Catford Loop. So we'll um, have a look and see which way it wants to send us, actually. Yeah, so we're going to turn right. We're going to do uh, turn off just before Loughborough Junction. Then I do sign the route all the way down to Swanley. So no excuses for, for buggering up today. Right, so we're good to go. Let's get her into forward and give it some power. So we're 20 leaving Blackfriars. Yeah, Kit plays games. I'm imagining there will be an AP pack for it. I think the cab looks quite nice. It looks pretty well modelled. I was a little bit disappointed to see that there's nothing operational. There's no PIS operational. A lot of the buttons are not operational. Um, I, I thought they would have kind of done a bit more with it, to be honest with you. I don't know if the, the ATO's been modelled on it, because I know the core section is, is ATO. Not that they use the ATO, but obviously these trains are um, ATO equipped. Okay, let's put some brake in and check that that's working. Yeah. Right, so we're off to Elephant and Castle in just under a mile. Dave Cannon, imagine if these were on Train Sim World 2. Yeah, Dave, I think there's a really good case for them being on Train Sim World 2. With the, um, the Brighton Main Line in particular, you know, they'd be a really, really good addition to that. Elizabeth, I've been left in charge of a seven-month puppy. What could go wrong? <laughs> Rather you than me. That's all I can say. Right, we're good for 40. Let's get a little bit of speed up. Uh, they are quite rapid in real life, these. So, I mean, yeah, that does, that does pick up really nicely. So 73 of you lovely people in tonight. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, if you haven't already, then please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely amazing. So we're up to Faulty Elephant and Castle in just over half a mile. Kit plays games. Is it good practice to test the brakes leaving a station when you're starting a shift? Yes, yeah, so Kit, if you've taken over a train, you'll do something called a running brake test. So at the first opportunity, uh, you would just put the brakes on and reduce the train speed just to get a feel for how the train's performing. Some companies will mandate this in their driving policy, others won't. It, it does largely depend on the rolling stock that you're driving, your company driving policy, but it is generally good practice to do that, yeah.
Uh, Elizabeth, no, I don't think you can do this on the PS4. This is on Train Sim Classic. Uh, I don't think Train Sim Classic is available for PS4, only Train Sim World. Yeah, no, A, the train spot. I don't know if they do have working um, ETCS. Right, so I can't remember if we're a full length unit or a reduced length unit. Um, I didn't actually look. And the TMS screens are not working either, which is a little bit disappointing. I'm going to assume we're a full length unit. If you're not sure of the length of your train, then always go to the end of the platform. That way you can't go wrong. Might mean the passengers have a little bit of a walk, but... Uh Oh, we've actually got British Film Guy. Welcome to Dad Rail, new subscriber. And let's get the doors open. So, uh, I go into neutral. You don't have to. That's just sort of my, my preference. What I have noticed as well, um, which I wasn't expecting, is the... I'm not very good with the free camera, I do apologise. It's the stop car markers, the, uh, the all marker. So, you've got FLU, which is full length unit. Um, RLU, which is reduced length unit, and then all, which is for all trains, and these apply to the 700s, the diamond marker. So I'm, I'm quite pleased to see that they've got that on there. That's that's really nice. So I think the exterior model does does look pretty decent. There's not much wrong with that at all. So Denmark Hill, we may be held for a couple of signals. Okay, so we've got a green into forward. And off we go. So we're good for 60. Adama Banana. Evening, Mr. Dadrail. Andrew Spencer, really enjoy your streams. Pleased to hear it, Andrew. Davidoff, I'm going to be in more streams now since I'm a member. Yeah, very much appreciated, Davidoff. I've got to add your name onto the, um, the stream list. I haven't done that yet onto the uh, the overlay that you'll see on the full camera screen. So I do need to get around to doing that. I shall do that before the next stream. Daniel, how was your birthday? Happy birthday for yesterday. Hooded Dominoes, I'm back. What a great username. Rob Lane, I better make sure my driving's okay now, otherwise I won't have a job tomorrow. Door opening alarm is wrong. They have used the South Western Railway 444450 version. Yeah, I believe they've used um, nicked quite a lot of the sounds off of other stuff. So, for reference, I don't sign this bit of route down to Loughborough Junction, so that's why I'm taking it a little bit easy. Um, well, they were good for 60, and we got a little while, so we could get the speed up a little bit. Uh, Dave Cannon, good question. When crossing points at a junction, how do you know when all of the train is over the points? Um, so a lot of it, Dave, would be guesswork on a train like this. You may have set marker points that you use. Um, some trains, like the Class 66, for example, have a train length counter on them. So you press a button, you program your train length into it, um, then you press a button, and when the back of the train passes that fixed point, the, the alarm goes off to tell you. But generally speaking, it's just, just a little bit of guesswork. So, two flashing yellows, which means I'm expecting the next signal to be one flashing yellow. Um, and then I'm expecting a single yellow with a junction indicator light. So, flashing yellows tell us we're taking the highest speed um, diverging route at the junction. So, there we go. There's our one flashing yellow. Uh, we've got a 20 coming up as well. Trevor Not, did you know you could play going with a controller like an Xbox controller? That would be a much easier solution, Trevor. I'd love them to add joystick support into this. That would be pretty awesome. Right, so 20 over the junction, 1 yellow. And we've got a D in the theatre box. Our oh, geek motto, really sorry to hear that, bud. Mum Rail's going to walk past, she's doing laundry. So 
to 91 of you lovely people who have got absolutely nothing better to do with your Saturday nights than listen to me rabbit on. If you haven't already, then please do whack that like button and consider subscribing. That would be awesome. So I'm still expecting a red signal ahead. My last signal was one yellow. So I've got to obviously assume my next signal is going to be red. So we're just passing through the disused platforms at Loughborough Junction, uh, coming around towards Cambria Junction. So there's our AWS magnet. Uh, that's telling us we've got a clear signal, but I'm not going to accept that until I see the signal, just in case. Yep, so we've got a green. We're good for 20. Mia, um, the 700 is available on the Steam store at the moment. Um, I'm also legally required to tell you guys that Dovetail Games have provided me with this train free of charge, um, but all the opinions are my own. British Film Guy, saw your video on the Festival of Rao last week, really enjoyed it, fantastic. Yeah, two DSD activations in that video. That was a bit embarrassing. Although I think th the first one wasn't my fault because I was outside the train and not in it. And I think the second one, there was an issue with the sound. I don't think the sound played. So I'm, uh, I'm not taking responsibility for those. Sam Brooks, yeah, I do sign down from Cambria Junction now all the way down to Swanley. So I've got absolutely uh, no excuses. So I suppose technically I could turn the heads off display, but the... The speedo is not particularly clear on the dashboard, so I'm going to leave it up um, just to make it a little bit easier. So the line we're on now is the Down Catford line coming into Denmark Hill Station. The lines to our right are the up and down Atlantic lines. So just getting used to the braking performance on this. Don't want to be over braking, but I'd, I'd rather over brake than under brake, that's for sure. Can't kind of find the neutral position either on the keyboard. It keeps jumping from brake to power without finding the coasting position. So there is our diamond board for all trains. So we're into neutral, which is just good practice. Checking the platforms on the left hand side and obviously we're on the correct stop mark. So why the train stop there, let's jump over to Discord guys and see what is going on over there. Class 86 rail tour from Carlisle to London, absolutely beautiful. If you want to post in the Discord server that guys you can do, there is a link in the description below and we are in the live stream pictures section. We're also going to be playing our first round of locomotive location livery very soon. If you've not played that game, then I will explain how that works in just a few moments time. Uh, I can't find the right button, there we go. Right, so our doors are shut, we are off to Peckham Rye. It helps if you go into forward. That is, That always helps. Right, we've got a green signal. Maxwell Wynn Shepherd. Dad route, I'm near Heathrow right now. Going anywhere nice, Max? Richard, the train spotter and more. Good evening, bud. Hope you're well. Hope your cough's starting to uh, ease up a bit. You've been a bit fluey, I know. Right, so we're 60 and we're going to drop down to 40 in a few minutes time. So I'm just going to take it up to 40 and then let it coast. To be honest with you guys, I've read a lot of negative reviews about these trains and I'm really enjoying it, to be fair. I like the view you've got out the cab, I like the, the whole kind of layout, it, I think it's really nice. So 40 mile an hour, we are now passing over Crofton Road Junction.
So the line's coming in from our right, coming from um, Tulse Hill. So it's coming around to Peckham Rye, and then we start climbing. Well, we're climbing up now. We climb up towards Nunhead, which is the highest station in London. So I'm just kind of releasing the brakes back so we stop with the least amount of brake force possible. And then we're into neutral. We're on the all mark, doors on the left. So what we're going to do guys is play locomotive location livery and this is how it works. We've got a board that looks like that. Behind there is a picture. You've got to guess the locomotive, location and livery of that picture. So what I want you guys to do is post a number in the chat between 1 and 16. And I am going to pick the third number that comes up on my screen to give everyone a fighting chance. George is already in, although I suspect he may have done it before I said, with number five. So let's reveal what is behind box number five. So I want the location, the livery, and the locomotive. And if you can get it from that, if you can get it from that, George, you're a better man than me. We shall play in just a minute. So we're climbing up to Nunhead now. 40 mile an hour all the way up. I tell a lie, we've got a 60 in a second. It's got 106 of you wonderful people in tonight. That is fantastic. We are in the um, new Dovetail Games Class 700. Just left Peckham Rye heading up towards Nunhead. And she's a good looking train. She's a good looking train. I'm really kind of finding it hard to find that neutral position though. It kind of doesn't want to sort of click in. It wants to carry on into break, which is really awkward. So coming into Nunhead, I've just shut the power off. It's quite a gradient coming into here, so I'm just going to let the, uh, the gradient take a lot of the speed out. This is quite an interesting place coming into of a heavy freight train, because if you're going down towards Lewisham, um, the signal at the end of the platform won't come off until you get very close to it. It's what they call, although it doesn't exist, it's what they call approach controlled signalling. Um, so if you've got a heavy freight train, you can sort of be full power up towards this signal on a red. And trying to get away from here with a heavy freight train, if you've been stopped, can be, can be interesting sometimes. So you've got a real risk here of having what's called a wrong side door release because we've got the platform monitors on the uh, left hand side but obviously we're opening the doors on the right. So there is a real risk there that you could open the doors on the wrong side. So into neutral, we're in the all marker, doors are on the right hand side. Now train sim doesn't differentiate between right and left with the doors. Uh, obviously train sim well does. So it's not, not too much of an issue. Okay guys, while we stop, give me a number between 1 and 16 in the chat and we will have another round of locomotive location and livery. There's always a little bit of a delay. There's about a 30 second delay between me saying it and uh, and it getting posted. George is in with number 7. Crazy Plays has got 7. Kitty Games has got seven. We really want number seven. Let's have number seven. Oh, I think that's, that's, that's given the locomotive away there, isn't it? That's definitely given the locomotive and the livery. <laughs> I, th I think I've made that one a little bit easy, guys. What do you reckon? We'll play again in just a second. So we're off now to Crofton Park. And we're rolling backwards. We definitely don't want to be doing that. Crazy place, there's some random freight train. 
crazy place. Can you show the route map? Um, I can show you the route map, but you'll have to tell me what button does it because my knowledge on Train Sim Classic isn't great, I'm afraid. Yeah, so the line down to the left there goes down to um, Lewisham. We're now on the Catford Loop. Yeah, Adama Banana, <laughs> that's exactly what it was based on. Just kind of wanted to wanted to give a little bit something extra to the streams, sort of uh, get the chat engaging. Works quite well. Uh, Richard the Train Spotter and more. You know exactly where that is, so <laughs> it, the picture was your suggestion. See, I, I, I don't think the sounds are too terrible, guys. I really don't think the sounds are too terrible at all. I, I think it's, I think it's acceptable. I really do. The only thing that's really irritating me is not being able to find that neutral position. It doesn't latch in the neutral position. It just carries straight into brake, which is, is really annoying. Uh, let's get a bit of braking for Crofton Park. Um, the the modelling actually on this bit of the route doesn't seem particularly good. Southeastern Train Spotter. My name is Brandon. How would I apply for Southeastern Dover Priory? Uh, your best bet, my friend, would be to go on the Southeastern website and just look at their careers and current current vacancy list. Yeah, mo most of the recruitment's done online now, so just just have a look through there. Um, or look at, I think there's an agency called OnTrack that Southeastern use quite a lot as well. They may have some some positions if you don't find anything directly on the Southeastern website. So Crofton Park into neutral, open the doors, and we're going to jump into Discord and see what you lovely people have been posting. Uh, either no one's posted anything, or I haven't scrolled down. It's probably the latter. Nope, nobody's posted anything. <laughs> so if you want to get your pictures in the Discord page, guys, you can do. There is a link in the description below to Discord. And we are in the live stream pictures page. Trainboy5677, uh, do you have any idea when the 700 Armstrong powerhouse uh, is going to be released? I do not, I'm afraid. Um, I should imagine there will be one, though. I should imagine there will be one. Right, we're off to Catford. And I haven't gone into forward again. See, Harry's trains, you're posting there. You're, you're posting in anticipation we were going to go for, for locomotive livery location. Right, so we're good for 50, and we dropped to 40 just after Catford. Um, and then we've got, uh, there's a bridge that goes over, over the Hayes lines, which is 40 for passenger trains, 15 for freight trains. Um... Which is really annoying when you're driving a freight train across there. Considering the bridge was replaced quite recently as well, it's quite annoying that the speed wasn't removed. Crazy plays. Catford to Catford Bridge. Yeah, Jeff Marshall done a... Um, we need to get some serious braking, otherwise we're going to have an overrun. Um... Jeff Marshall done a video on that. One of his ticketing videos was saying you can't buy a ticket from Catford to Catford Bridge. He went to the ticket office and it wouldn't allow him to do it. But then he'd done the journey on his Oyster card and got charged for it. So you can do it by Oyster, but you can't buy a physical ticket. Um, probably because it's about a 30 second walk. It literally is a stone's throw away. You could, you could throw a stone between the two stations.
I think the platform here at Catford looks a little bit too long as well. Okay guys, just as we're coming to a stand, let's have a number between 1 and 16 posted in the chat and we'll have another go at location, livery, locomotive or whatever order I said it in. Into neutral, we're at Catford. Dad Rao, to show the map, you press number 9. George, you seem to be first every time. Crazy Place says 16. We're going to go with 16. Locomotive location and livery. What's behind box number 16? We've got a buffer. I think the location on this one is going to be quite difficult to get. But we'll see how you get on. We'll see how you get on. Right, into forward, don't forget this time, and off we go. I am trying to stay current with the chat as well, guys, but there's a lot of people in tonight. Trainboy5677, Jeff Marshall's done a video of him driving a 700 in Germany back in 2016. I do like Jeff Marshall's channel. I have uh, was lucky enough to feature him in one of his videos a little while ago, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Trainboy5677, it's incredibly annoying when the train is running behind the freight train because it causes delays. Yes, he has a freight train driver, and all the opinions expressed within this video are solely my own. As a freight train driver, I hate being stuck behind passenger trains because they keep stopping at blimmin' stations and delaying me. So... <laughs> but I do get where you're coming from. I do get where you're coming from. It, it, it does get very annoying because obviously... Um, passenger trains have got pathways, freight trains have got pathways, but freight always gets pushed to the bottom of the list. Um, you can have a sort of passenger train that's running 10 minutes late and they seem to hold an on-time freight train to let the late running passenger train go through. And, you know, I, I get it that freight doesn't really moan, whereas passengers do, but freight drivers moan, trust me. <laughs> Especially when you're going home. Right, so we're dropping down towards Bellingham. We've got the sidings at Bellingham. We've also got one of our um, one of our Discord members lives near Bellingham. I can't remember who it is. Um, so we're just going to see when we come out the other side of Bellingham where we've got the sidings, which I should hope would be populated with 700s as they are in real life. So Bellingham Station on the left there actually looks pretty good. Not bad at all. UK train announcements. Welcome to Dad Rail. New subscriber. We can do train announcements. We have a, we have a special effect for that. I'll show you what we can do. Right, we are all stopped on the all mark. Doors on the left. We can do something like this. What platform are we on? Platform two. Let's see if this works. This might not work, but hopefully it will. The train now standing at platform number two is the Thameslink service to Swanley, calling at Beckenham Hill. Um, <laughs> Beckenham Hill, Ravensbourne, Shortlands, Bromley South, Bickley, St Mary Cray and Swanley. Hopefully that works. <laughs> right, what have we got in the chat? Richard, what does the horn sound like? How do I get the second tone? It's N on Train Sim Weld. I'm not sure what it is on Train Sim Classic. Right, into forward and off we go. Most professional announcement ever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Crazy Plays reckons the station is Cardiff Central. Interesting. George, does freight have a set route, a bit like passenger trains, or is it on demand? No, George, um, all the schedules, freight or otherwise, have to be programmed into the system. So we don't kind of just phone up and say, yeah, we want to go from A to B. Um, there will be schedules in the system that are designed to run around the passenger trains. They won't always run, but the, the pathways are in there, and we do have to run to a book time to a book timetable. 
B is the other horn. There we go. Let's get some braking. And V for the windscreen wiper, of course. As we come up to Beckenham Hill. I can't turn my wiper off now. I'm pressing all the wrong... It is V, isn't it, for wiper? Let's stop at the station and then we'll worry about that. Let's get our priorities right. That should be squeaking away now, that wiper on a dry windscreen. So we are stopped. Let's get the doors uh, neutral. And doors. Right, let's see if I can get this wiper turned off. Uh, there's got to be a button down here for it somewhere. There we go. Off. You'd think with the kind of enhancements that Armstrong Powerhouse have done with working GSMR and, and stuff like that, you'd think that sort of be pretty standard. Hey, 377. 377. Yeah, we've got the wiper stopped. Let's jump into Discord, guys, see what you guys have been posting in there. Uh, Rafe, class 155 up in the distance there. If you're not in our Discord server, guys, we've got a really friendly Discord server. There is a link to it in the description below. Amongst other things, we have a staff diary section where we've got different members of railway staff posting about their day-to-day -day lives. Um, we even have a chap called Alex in there who's a driver over in Germany. He's been posting some very interesting stuff. We've got a green. Um, yeah, so if you want to join the Discord server, we'd absolutely love to have you over there. Yeah, crazy place. I did do London Underground. I've done a Halloween Bakerloo line special. <laughs> um, but it's certainly something I can look at doing again. So we're 60 all the way around here, coming up to uh, Ravensbourne. It's our next station stop. Crazy plays, I'm a map man. Map men, map men. That is a great YouTube channel. Mum Rail's laughing at me. I can laugh at myself, so it's fine. I mean on train sim. See, the gradients in real life on this route are quite severe, and I mean, they just don't seem to be... It's saying here we're on the level, but coming up to Ravensbourne is really steep. So I'm, it's definitely not on the level. Uh, South Eastern Train Spot, I don't know if you can do Raynham to Luton. I'm not uh, overly familiar with all the routes that are available for train sim. Uh, someone in the chat will know though. So guys, let's have a number between 1 and 16, and we shall play another round of Locomotive Location Livery. Trainboy5677, good night, thank you very much for joining us. Crazy Plays is straight in there with number 2. Let's reveal box number two. Station canopy. <laughs> this is a this is a much better one than our previous ones. I knew the location was going to be a bit more tricky. I'm I'm trying to vary these and kind of not make them all down south or all up north. I'm trying to kind of pick locations that uh, that are going to sort of be suitable for everybody. So if you've got any thoughts, do let us know in the chat. Uh, we are definitely going to finish this game before we get to Swanley. Into forward, off we go. I genuinely don't think the sounds are too bad. I, I, I kind of read the reviews on Steam, and this is very negative reviews on Steam. And I was kind of expecting to to come in and sort of say, "Oh no, it's really bad and it's awful. I don't recommend buying it." But I'm really enjoying my drive on this train. The sounds are fine. 
I mean, compared to something like the um, Free T3 that we've done on the Birmingham Cross City, the Free T3 sounds really are dreadful. But, you know, this this is... You know, it's not 100% accurate, I get that. It, it's really not. But it's perfectly acceptable, in my opinion. So, coming into Shortlands... Uh, Richard the Train Swatter and more. Have you got Great Western Express yet for Train Sim World 2? Yes, I have, bud. That was one of the ones I picked up in the uh, the publishers event. And are we going to go straight through Shortlands? Possibly. Uh, loads of room to stop. Uh, Dan H. Looks like Ipswich. Looks like Stonemarker. You guys are in the right sort of area. You guys are definitely in the right sort of area there. Oh, loads of break. Everyone spilt their coffee. We are stopped. Platform on the right. Uh, why won't it let me go into neutral? I do need to master these key binds. I really do. Class 90, Freightliner, Colchester. CP trains, you're getting closer. You're getting closer. You are most definitely getting closer. Crazy plays. Greasy's from Germany. Looks like Aberdeen. Uh, Mega Miner 10, we are on the, um, I want to say it's the Chatham main line. Uh, we're going uh, Blackfriars down to Swanley. Actually, no, I think Blackfriars was part of the uh, the new Dover Priory route, wasn't it? Class 90, Berry St. Edwards, Manning Tree, Manning Tree, oh, Manning Tree. We've got a green, we're off to Bromley South. Hello, Dad Rail, Nationwide's Railway Channel here. You have a shout out, my friend. Nationwide's Railway Channel. A great detective work, Z Blocks. The Greater Anglia Boards and Architecture is definitely a giveaway. Excellent detective work. I've just checked a YouTube video and it is Needham Market. Oh, we're going for Needham Market, Chelsea. Third. I'm going to tell you this, someone in the chat has got it right, and when we get to Bromley South, I will reveal all. Uh, Mega Miner, no, this route isn't available on Train Sim World, I'm afraid. This is um, Train Sim Classic that we're playing at the moment. It would be pretty awesome if it was. It would be pretty awesome if it was. So, climbing up into Bromley South. So 90 people, have, 90 of you lovely people still with me this evening. If you haven't already, please do whack that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely awesome. Honestly thought this stream was going to be kind of a bit, um, not many people in. Uh, so there's our RLU unit. I believe we're a full length unit. Um, I'm going to assume we're a full length unit. We're going to go to the end anyway. I still haven't checked that, have I? But no, I thought I, thought I wasn't going to get many people in tonight because this wasn't very well advertised. I think I only sort of put it up on the channel like 10 minutes before it actually went live. So it's really great to see so many people in tonight. It's awesome. Uh, stopped a little bit short there. In reality, I'd want to be a bit further forward, but we'll, uh, we'll go with it. Into neutral, doors on the right. And like I said, someone has got it right in the chat. So, when I find the right button, we're going to play Locomotive Location Livery. And I am going to declare that we do have a winner. But I'm not going to tell you who, and I'm not going to tell you where. <laughs> so, now you can see the whole picture, guys. I'm revealing the whole picture because someone has got it right. Um, so, let's, let's hear you. Where is that? Can we get... Uh, can we get a definitive answer? Can we get a consensus going? Where is that? Right, green signal into forward. We are off to Bickley. Oh, 
Also, guys, if you're completely and utterly bored, I'm on TikTok as well, at DadRailOfficial. Um, you may have seen me on TikTok with celebrities. You may remember me from such TikToks as DadRail with Francis on a 69. Actually, that sounds a bit wrong. Mumrail's chuckling again. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be many uh, run sounds though. I'm just kind of sort of listening to that there. There's no kind of track noise. That is a Tesco's down there in real life. Alex Day, new to the channel, found you after applying for a train driver job and looking up how to apply. Great content. Thank you very much, Alex. Kit plays games. We're all going with Needham Market, Stowe Market. We still haven't got a consensus as to where that is. Richard, the train spotter, and more. If you are in the chat, you can now reveal exactly where that picture was taken because you were with me at the time. <laughs> you guys are all in the right area. You're definitely all in the right sort of area. LHRS, I take it up to 50 mile an hour coast and break 60% of the bridge. Uh, I'm guessing you're signing this route, my friend. Slight overshoot there into neutral, hopefully, and get the doors open. Is this the first game? Yeah, this is my first, um, first go on the 700. I have driven on this route a little bit before, but it's my first go on the 700, and this is a route that I sign in real life. But I sign it as a freight driver, not as a passenger driver, so um, obviously we don't use stations. And I've just realised what you meant about the first game. The first game of locomotive location livery. Uh, it certainly is the first game of locomotive location livery. And I can reveal, I'm sure it's been done in the chat, the station is in fact Manningtree. So you guys were very, very close. And someone did say Manning Tree on the chat. So there will be another game of location, um, locomotive livery. And I say that in a different order every time. I'm sure I do. But I am going to be doing a second stream right after this one where I've got the Master Key Class 460 Gatwick Express on the Brighton Main Line. So I'm going to be doing that uh, straight after this and we'll be playing the second game over there. Uh, should we get the game back on the screen? There we go. Yeah, if anyone wants to send me any pictures for the games, you're more than welcome to do so. You can do it on my um, social media channels, which are on the screen now. I'm also on Instagram, which is at DadRailOfficial. That's not been added to the uh, overlays yet. I need to do that. But uh, you're more than welcome to send me any um, pictures for the game. Or you can, of course, send them to me via the Discord server. And there is an invitation link in the description below. Uh, Minga 100 66789 is uh, it's a very nice livery on that one. Southern Freight Spotter UK. I was at Shawford and a South Western Railway overshot the platform. How serious is this? Um, it's a tea and biscuits with your manager event, generally speaking. Um, it depends on the circumstances. If the driver was driving appropriately and it was caused by low adhesion, then, you know, there may be... Mit um, uh, not mitigating circumstances. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Yeah, there there may be um, you know reasons why it's happened. So it's it's it generally speaking going to uh, depend on the circumstances. Was did the driver actually forget to stop and realise at the last minute, or was the driver just coming in a bit too fast and, and misjudged the braking? So there's there's a million and one uh, reasons for it. You know, and it'd be a case of working through that. And you know, when I say like tea and biscuits with your manager, it's it's not normally sort of a disciplinary thing. It's normally a case of, you know, we're going to sit down, have a conversation. We're going to download the train. We're going to work out why the incident happened. And then we're going to put procedures in place to make sure it doesn't happen again. So it's not, you know, if you do something wrong, you know, you're not really going to be told off for it as such. It's more about learning from it and then making, making yourself a better driver. Racing a 375. I like this. I like the parallel running. Um, 
Yeah. Now, obviously, if you've if you've deliberately broken the company driving policy, you were driving like an idiot or something like that, then. Uh, you know, there may be calls for disciplinary action, but generally speaking, nobody goes to work with the intention of making a mistake. So, so generally speaking, these things are treated as learning learning exercises. So, coming down towards St Mary Cray. Yeah, CP trains, they are absolutely everywhere. And I was out driving a train today um, in the Brighton main line and various different branch lines off of it. And I noticed at Redhill they've got boards for the 769s. They've got um, power changeover boards for the uh, 769s, which is quite interesting to see. I assume they're pretty recent. I Actually, I might post a picture of that in the Discord server. I've just thought I can do that on my phone, can't I? Golden Ticket, how accurate are the stations on this route? They're a fair representation. I don't think they're perfect by a long shot, but they're a fair representation. I still need to check how long my train is. I'm driving all the way to the end. I'm still not sure how long my train is. I think there should be a sticker, actually, up there somewhere. Oh, eight car. Right, so we can stop on the RLU marks. Well, in that case, I'm just going to stop here. I really should have checked that sooner. That's it's one of the things you would generally check is how long your train is. So we've got interior view in uh, first class. It all looks a little bit square, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. But I mean, we are sort of we are still in Train Sim Classic. You know, the engine is years old now. Oh, we're on to buses. We do, we do everything in these streams. We do buses, we do aeroplanes. Uh, not for the game, we only do train games. We even do a bit of dancing. If you've been in the previous streams, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're, uh, we're not going to go there today, though. Yeah, I'm an, uh, I'm an RLU for sure. Definitely an RLU. Eight car, it says up there. I uh, really should have uh, checked that sooner. Like I said, I drive freight trains now, so... <laughs> Right, next station will be Swanley. The weird thing about this route is we are on the um, down Chatham fast. Uh, the line to our left is the down Chatham slow. And I always get confused here and have to kind of second, second guess myself and always sort of double check it. But on this particular stretch of route, the stopping trains travel on the fast lines and the fast trains travel on the slow lines. It's, it's a really sort of weird situation that's going on. Uh, CP trains, if you go into neutral in real life, um, normally the emergency brakes are going to come on. It depends on if you're travelling along and you go into neutral, you're going to trigger an emergency brake application. So it's 90 all the way up here. We're quite steep uphill um, towards Swanley. We sort of climb up towards the bridge, then drop down, then climb up again. So my route knowledge, um, I mean this route will carry straight on down towards... Uh, Soul Street and then Rochester. My route knowledge ends here. I can swing a right and go around Batten and Ball and Seven Oaks. Um, so you swing a right, you go through Ainsford, Shoreham, uh, Otford, then Batten and Ball. So I can I can do that route, um, but that's not modelled on Train Sim. There we go, two yellow. So I'm gonna get 30% break in. That substation there is called Kevin Town Substation. There's a lot of graffiti along this section of track. Um, they just seem to have the word Euro written everywhere. It's like this whole route's got like, we call it Euro graffiti everywhere. It's quite strange. And they've got like Euro signs along this whole route in, in various different places. I assume it's got something to do with when the Eurostar used to run along here. So, one yellow. Red is at the end of the platform at Swanley. South Eastern train spot. No, I don't sign Ramsgate and Dover Priory. I, I sign bits of Kent, but my primary new route knowledge is uh, Sussex.
CP trains, I mean at the station when opening the doors, is there a reason why you go into neutral? Um, again, it would depend on your company driving policy. Some companies I know of mandate it, others don't. Generally speaking, when you go into... I'm using the word generally a lot tonight. I'm very conscious of that. It's nearly as bad as dynamic. Um, when you go into neutral, you can then take your foot off the uh, vigilance, the DSD vigilance pedal. Um, so you're going to neutral so you can give your foot a rest, really. Right, so we've got red at the end of the platform. We want to be doing no more than 20 over the AWS magnet. That's something that will be... Um, mandated in your company driving policy as well. Some companies are 20, some companies are 10, some companies are 15. Um, that's something that will be in your, your company's professional driving policy. Fixbell, hello, welcome to the stream. And there we have got RLU, and we're going to stop in the right place on the RLU marker. And we are stopped at a red signal, so of course we're going to go full service brake. That's emergency, I assume that's full service. We're going to set our DRA, driver reminder appliance, and we're going to go into neutral. If you stop at a red signal, always set the DRA, and then get some doors open. Fixbox says, look at the Discord, uh, which is that button there. Oh, we got a class 70 at the top, and we're on buses and models. I've got a funny feeling what Figsbowl's posted down there, which hasn't quite shown up, is a picture of me dancing. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> so, let's jump back into the game and see what it says. Southern Freight Spotter says, have you ever opened the wrong set of doors when you are a passenger train driver? Uh, Southern Freight Spotter, no. Fortunately, I, n I never did. Uh, but it is an incident that, that does happen. Well done, driver. You have arrived on time at Swanley and have given the... Passengers, plenty of time to change onto another service and also plenty of time for the next driver to finish the service to Seven Oaks. And that's it. It's kicked me out. So how have we done? You scored zero. What? It wasn't that bad, surely. Speeding, 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 speeding. speeding. Tell me, tell me there's like, tell me there's something wrong with the scoring system. That was not a zero drive, surely. I thought it was better than that. <laughs> probably doesn't help that I thought we had a full length unit and we had a reduced length unit. That's, that's probably not particularly helpful. Not particularly happy with that at all. So, <laughs> um... So like I said, guys, Dovetail Games did give me the, the key for this for free, but all the opinions are my own. And having read the reviews on Steam, I was kind of... I'd actually said to, to my wife before I started, I'd said, you know, I've got to be honest and give my honest opinion. And if I don't like it, I'm going to say I don't like it. But that was a really, really enjoyable drive. I really like the way the, the train handles. The sounds are not great. You know, there's a lot of room for improvement there for sure. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad at all. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, do please smash that like button. That would be awesome. I am now going to jump into a, another stream on the uh, Train Sim Classic again, doing the, the Master Key Class 460. Uh, the reason I've done it as two separate streams is because it's easier for people to find content when they watch back. And you lot watch two lots of adverts, so I get another 20p from YouTube. Look, I'm, a, I'm an honest guy. What can I say? So if you want to join me in the second stream, that would be absolutely awesome. There's a link in the description... Uh, of this one, which will take you over there. So we're going to do Gatwick Airport up to Victoria. It's only about a half an hour, 40 minute run in the Master Key 460, which I had a little look at earlier and I really like. It's got working TMS, PIS, GSMR, sort of. It's, it's a proper, um, what I'd say, a proper simulated train. And 460s are brilliant anyway. So it'd be great to see you over there. There is a link in the description to um, that stream. I'm going to literally close down this one and jump straight into that one. So I shall be over there in two or three minutes time. Um, if you're not going to join me over there, then thank you very much for watching, guys. It's really, really is appreciated. Um, I'm trying to find the right button. <laughs> I've, I've changed all my boards and I don't know where my buttons are now. Yeah, if you have enjoyed this stream, that is absolutely awesome. Please do consider liking this video and subscribing to Davro. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next stream in two or three minutes' time.